of how to do certain things and where to do At Augmented Reality World Expo, companies show how AR can be used to diagnose problems from afar to keep operations running smoothly. I can start annotating even if I don't point at that location anymore. So he basically said, you know what, take this around, do it done, and it's back up and running. Recent surveys are showing that over 70% of all Fortune 1000 companies have already adopted AR or plan to adopt it in the next couple of years. Using Athere's augmented reality software, Porsche has been able to reduce customer resolution time by 40%. When facing a mystery problem, technicians slip on a pair of AR glasses and call an expert to guide them through the repair. In the past, if the technician couldn't fix the car, Porsche would send one of their experts to the dealership, or the dealership would send the car back to Atlanta, uh, or wherever the, you know, the, you know, where, wherever they needed to send it to. That's both fabulously expensive, it's time-consuming, and customers get upset. The industry is well aware of workers' fears that robots and artificial intelligence will soon be taking their jobs. But some experts believe AR has the potential to make human workers more productive by training them only when they need it. If we can literally teach you what you're doing, give you a quick refresher before you uh, do your job or while you're doing your job, instruct you what you're supposed to do, that's going to be much more cost effective than spending weeks or years uh, doing repetition. At Augmented World Expo, there's even an eyewear museum filled with spectacles of AR and VR history. While a few of the products are still being tinkered with, the vast majority never hit the market and were discontinued. While AR glasses have made inroads in enterprise, companies are still having trouble finding the right fit for ordinary consumers. Yeah, that's what they're seeing. Beijing's Nreal is hoping to bridge that gap by announcing its $500 mixed reality glasses will hit the market in limited quantities this year and the mass market next year. You can check your mail, play games, and watch videos anywhere. At the end of the day, for regular people or consumers to wear it, it has to be comfortable and also uh, friendly on your face. We don't actually have any cameras that are taking images of people around you. So actually it's kind of a rather enclosed environment. Augmented World Expo's co-founder believes eyewear of the future should not rely on capturing and selling personal data. I'm talking about the idea of uh, collecting the knowledge across many, many people and that knowledge actually is, is very valuable. So you can use that to sell it to other people as a service, and it's, uh, I think it could be much more valuable than uh, what advertising is doing today. While pioneering specs like the original Google Glass failed for being too invasive, the success of the next generation of AR may hinge on not only reinventing design, but business models as well. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.